can speak if you want. I mean, in general, yeah, you can speak as well, you can ask. In general, um, I, I see uh, curiosity, I mean, I mean, Hawkins talks about the curiosity that takes you out of the non-dual place. So if you're in a non-dual place, it's usually the ego that gets curious about something and you identify with the world and then you get taken out of the non-dual, out of the observer. So generally speaking, uh, in my I took to myself, I, mean, I want to transcend curiosity. Uh, curiosity for me is a, a, a thing that now is not enough. Being in the observer now is not enough. Like uh, I'm, a, I'm an addict, meaning that I, um, I want the next thing to be the thing that will fix me, to give me, make me more happy than where I am right now. So if you go like if you go if I go to the go to the observer of my ego now, then, or let's say let's take it on a self-inquiry level, curiosity. Curiosity is like a feeling or a thought, or a feeling and a thought. So let's say I'm curious to try the new jam donuts selling down the road. Yeah. I have a feeling of curiosity and I have a thought. There's a new donut shop open down the road. So there's curiosity. So if I observe, if I go to the observer of that thought and the observer of that feeling, is the observer of curiosity curious? No. The observer of curiosity is not curious. It's, it's here now. It's observing here. It's in the internal now, now. So curiosity does not exist. Because curiosity is a little bit like separation. It's like now is not enough. This moment is not holy enough. Uh, this is not quite the holy instant. If I go to the donut shop in 10 minutes and have the curiosity for the donut shop in 10 minutes, that will be the real holy instant, not this holy instant. So the holy instant for me, we're talking about the course, using the Course in Miracles or the eternal now, is what would have curiosity that now is not enough? What is it going to be? Is the holy instant curious about the next instant? Or is the holy instant curious about the next book? Or is the holy instant curious? There's something, when, you, when, you're, in, when you're in the holy instant, things are spontaneously arising and being orchestrated out of that field. So things are happening, but are things happening in a field of lack? No, they're happening out of a field of wholeness, out of oneness, out of the infinite. So, so what then could have a feeling or a thought of curiosity? Would the Holy Spirit have a feeling of, of curiosity and, uh, or want to find holiness in the next instant or in another shop or in another donut? So is that curiosity coming from the ego or does the cur does curiosity exist in the holy instant now i'm talking about black and white there are levels of spiritual development i'm not saying there's anything wrong with curiosity but from a non-dual from an enlightened perspective if someone is in the holy instant if someone is in the observer is the observer of the holy instant curious or n or is now not enough in the holy instant because for me being in separation means that now is not enough being in the holy instant being in my ego is now is not enough there's a more exciting now later on there's a more there'll be more holiness later on in the afternoon but holiness is not now or holiness this room is not holy enough i need to go to a different room to be holy so i'm curious to find go next door to find if that room is more holy than this room. So, in the holy instant, now is enough. It doesn't mean in the observer things can't happen, like you can't eat a donut, or you can't dance, or you can't listen to music in the, in the holy instant. But, but curiosity for me is more, what is the vibration of curiosity? It's like, for me, when I, when I think of the vibration of curiosity, it's like, now is not enough. You know, it's too boring. This room right now is just too boring. Uh, I'm starting to think what would be more, I'm starting to get curious as to what's more, what's more interesting than this room. Is next door more interesting? Maybe the evening and night times more interesting than now. Or let me get curious to read a book about another spiritual teacher now, because there's not enough now. So I need to get some more intellectual knowledge and be a bit more curious. 
I'm curious that I don't know what every single spiritual author in the whole world has ever said about <laughs> spirituality. So, so I've only read 300 books. I'm curious to read my 301st book. So, so that probably that can be intellectual curiosity, or I can have donut curiosity, or I can have curiosity about a different place. So, so what is curious? If you ask the thing as like, you know, self-inquiry, what is curious and what's observing the curiosity? Or if I get a thought of curiosity, what's witnessing the thought of, curi of, of curiosity? And is that, in, in the place of observing the thought of curiosity, is that place curious? But for me, curious isn't, you know, when I'm in the observer, I'm not curious about the next moment. I'm not curious that this is not enough now. And as you go more and more into the eternal now, now is holy. It now is wholly and complete in this moment. This moment, like Hawkins would say, this moment is completely complete as it is. And the next moment is completely complete as it is. So one, one is not, the ego in separation is curious for something better than now. So that's like, this is not a holy instant, but in the next instant it might be holy. Uh, but you know, I mean, that's just talking from a non-dual perspective. I'm just saying that. I'm not saying that, you know, like you're bad if you're, if you're curious. Or if you've read 300 books on spirituality, you're, you're, you're wrong to read the 301st book. I'm not saying that. Just from a, from a dualistic uh, perspective.